Diagnosed with kidney failure 20 years ago, Hu Song Wen couldn't afford hospital treatment and his health insurance was inadequate. But Hu didn't accept defeat. Instead, he built a home dialysis machine that has kept him alive since he stopped going to hospital 13 years ago. China View has the full story. Kidney failure can be a death sentence without a transplant or dialysis. A matching donor can be extremely difficult to find, and dialysis is prohibitively expensive with insurance. Fortunately, Hu is a determined and resourceful individual. He was diagnosed with kidney failure when he was a college junior student in 1993. Since then, dialysis is all that has kept him from death. He began going to the hospital for dialysis, but after six years, the bills completely depleted his family's savings. With few options, he came up with the wild idea of building a dialysis machine and doing the treatment at home. Hu's dialysis contraption sits in his home's bathroom. On the ground is an induction cooker for heating the dialysis fluid. Next to it is a two-meter wooden stand where dialysis tubing is fastened. He's become adept at skillfully mixing potassium chloride, sodium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate with purified water to make the liquid before undergoing the procedure. His 81-year-old mother lends a hand. In 1995, I bought a book titled Blood Purification Theory. I learned from it all about dialysis. I found it was not that complex to do it by myself. In addition to the book, Hu also read some medical journals, and he took advantage of his six years of hospital treatment to learn the basic techniques of dialysis. Of course, it is more complicated to do dialysis at home than in a hospital, but the basic principles are the same. I first needed a blood pump, as recycling the body's blood requires force. Besides the pump, I also needed a dialyzer, tubing, puncture needles, medicine and saline. For each treatment, I need a large amount of purified water and a lot of other medicals. To save money, he reused some of the disposable materials. In this way, he kept the cost of each treatment under 60 yuan, which is a fraction of the hospital cost for dialysis. Who initially had to do dialysis twice a week, but now he has to do it three times. Each session lasts hours and is physically grueling. Like most people whose lives depend on dialysis, who stays alive, but it leaves him frail and with little energy. Doing dialysis at home has reduced costs, but the risks are significant. Who must take great care to avoid being infected. Who kept his home treatment secret until last July when he uploaded a video of his home dialysis procedure. The footage became an online sensation after whose story was reported by the Southern Weekly last week. When you do it at home with no one knowing, you are unlikely to change your fate. When more people pay attention to this, that may change my fate. For more than a decade, he was strictly focused on his home treatment and generally ignored what was going on in the outside world. But he got a big surprise last year when he learned that the nationwide rural medical insurance had finally decided to cover dialysis. Now he can get dialysis in the hospital for 60 yuan, the same cost as his home treatment. Yet he's reluctant to abandon his custom home treatment that has kept him alive for 13 years. The trip to the High End People's Hospital is long and the hospital is always crowded. If everybody does dialysis at home, then the burden of the hospitals and the country will be reduced. Who intends to continue home dialysis for now, but when the weather warms up, he will reconsider going to the hospital. For individuals with kidney failure, the best option is a kidney transplant. It would be best if I could get a new kidney and lead a normal life.